for today's video we are shooting the 180 grain 30 caliber norma bond strikes got these from submoashooting.com mr wally was nice enough to send them to me for testing go check out submoashooting.com they sell sample packs might be able to save yourself some money in load development first shots will be out of a 308 at uh, re reduced velocities simulating longer range of shots and I'll flip the blocks and do some other testing And that one just tumbled through the gel and may or may not be stuck in my bag. But I can tell by just the two directional turn it came in, tumbled once hard. As it's rotating, tumbled again, came out the side here. Definitely too slow. We're going to bump it up a fair bit. As that one was traveling at 1,233 feet per second. And the same thing occurred. That one is at 1356. I may not have one hot enough for the 308 to actually get it to open. Again, that's not an exact science on the powder. Just because the last 180 grain bullets hit the velocities I needed to with this charge weight, doesn't mean these are going to. Again, that one actually made it through both blocks. It still failed to open. At 14.44. So I'm going to go ahead and just shoot a full load out of the 30-06 into this. Then I'll flip them and shoot a full load out of the 300 PRC into the other. That last shot appears to have left a little bit of fragments so it's trying and yeah, see copper pedal there trying to start to open at that point and it didn't tumble it made it through both blocks but still just not quite fast enough not sure what uh, these are rated down to but I was aiming for that 1600 feet per second mark and didn't hit it today
definitely did what it's supposed to, and it's caught right here. This might just camera to the other side quick. And it started opening at about an inch and an eighth, carrying the explosive portion of that permanent wound cavity too, just past the 14 inch mark. And the leading edge of that bullet is 22 inches. And we have tears on all four sides for over five inches overall. Did pretty well. But it was still not all that high of a velocity. Two thousand four hundred and sixty-eight feet per second. I can see our lead core up in the middle of that. Have that opening up almost instantaneously tearing on all four sides of the block again so I can see the bolt sitting in here leading edge at 23 and 7 8 the better portion of that permanent wound cavity carried from almost instantaneously to about the 12 inch mark it's not a whole lot left to that bullet. Weight retentions will be the video description. And that one in the gel right around 3,000 feet per second. So overall good bullet. I'll have to get my hands on a few more of these and try some low velocity test. Um, just kind of the standard in the industry for years is don't drop below 2,000 feet per second on impact. With newer bullets, there's a lot of them that will drop lower than that. I do not know what these are rated to, but I'll look that up and get some more to do some more testing and just see how low a velocity they will go and still expand. Hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs>